They were so excited uh, to understand Indian could successfully launch using the indigenously developed GSLV Mark II vehicle. Our own uh, vehicle, for which the technology was denied, cryogenic technology was denied, and we have developed and we have successfully used that rocket and placing the satellite in the orbit. They were excited and extremely happy. And it was one of the most precise. Ah, it is one of the most precise which has happened in the world itself, I can tell. Because you please understand, a rocket with five stages operating perfectly, each stage is operating very perfectly without any disturbance, injecting the satellite in the precise orbit with two to three kilometers across the level. It is uh, unimaginable uh, achievement even for them. And uh, the entire country can be today proud that a very technologically intensive, costly and highly useful uh, satellite which is built jointly by India and America is placed in the orbit perfectly by Indian launcher, the GSLV Mark II F-16A. And sir, this is a costliest satellite. And I would like to ask you, you know, how, what is the role that is going to play in monitoring the climate change aspects of the world? Because I know it's an earth monitoring satellite and it's minute details are being picked up by the satellite. So how is it going to change in studying the climate change? So it is not only climate change, climate change, uh, yeah, um, disaster related aspects. Uh, so many aspects are going to be studied and uh, you know, uh, you can go through the literatures. First time a dual band, synthetic aperture radar. Synthetic aperture radar, the meaning is, you know, this satellite is used, used for monitoring the earth in all weather condition, that it be cloud or rainy season, 24 by 7 we can use. And that is the speciality of synthetic aperture radar payloads. So dual band, you can understand lot of things. And it is going to be a highly useful satellite for the entire humanity of the crew. We insisted to correct the rocket in order to ensure the safety of four astronauts. Okay. Not only our astronaut, four astronauts. No, actually, say this rocket, you know, after moving to the launch pad, the first it is a two-stage rocket. First stage is having nine engines, uh, each generating hundred tons, and second stage is a, again a single engine both using liquid oxygen and kerosene propellant combination. After moving the rocket, the first stage is filled with the propellant and a 8 second hot test has to be done to understand the performance before allowing to lift out. So the test was carried out on 8th, if I am correct, 8th June. Then when we discussed, we were reported that everything was perfect and three committees cleared for launch and countdown started, activity started. But the only thing on uh, 11th was the planned launch, 10th morning, in fact, early morning when I got up around 4.30, I saw a press news stating that a minor leak was there, which they have handled by giving a helium purge. But then, you know, our own experience is not uh, comfortable for us to clear. So we demanded a meeting. And they were convincing us, absolutely no problem. But then we were bent upon saying that such a with a leak, we should not lift off. And we demanded for uh, correction, rather we insisted for correction, finally uh, the launch was called off and when they inspected uh, that day night, you know, for everybody's surprise there was a small crack, not small crack, there was a major crack in the main field line and then uh, without a crack means without correction nobody will lift off the rocket and finally the crack was corrected and we demanded a low temperature leak test, that was also done. Without correction, if it would have lifted off, what would have happened is this crack will be, through the crack, there will be liquid oxygen flow and that liquid oxygen, if it falls on the hot surfaces, there are hot surfaces, immediately metal burning will occur, so entire engine will be under fire and also if it falls on the kerosene circuit, kerosene freezing will occur, if it falls on sensors, sensors will not work. So totally, the first stage will be a catastrophic failure leading to a major setback. Uh, in the human space flight program of the world. And uh, we are so satisfied that with Indian education system, with the knowledge gained in ISRO, 
uh, Indian could uh, really, Indians could, uh, we the ISRO team could really insist for the correction and based on that insistence only the launch was called off on the previous day uh, evening 5.30. Then everything was corrected and today we are a proud nation uh, to say that we are second to none even in holding a rocket when there is a problem and ensuring the safety of astronauts. Uh, third mission is a commercial mission, uh, a 6,500 kg communication satellite called Bluebird 2, realized by USA. Uh, is going to be launched by Indian launcher, the GSLV Mark 3 vehicle. That will happen within three months. Thank you. Thank you.